Now, Stanley Graves. I want to say a few words about Stanley. Uh, not really to introduce him because, honestly, Stanley does not need introduction to any of us here. But I would like to say a few words before he begins to speak about his book and about his work. I've known Stanley uh, a long time and I've also been lucky enough to know many creative, very creative people in my time. I've been very fortunate. I think of people like Dennis Williams. I'm just going to mention a few. I think of people like Dennis Williams, Martin Carter, Aubrey Williams, uh, Michael Jilks. I think of people like A.J. Seymour in the old days. I think of people like the great and perhaps slightly undervalued poet Mahadai Das. I think of many, many creative people like that. And they've embellished the life of Guyana, and they've certainly embellished my life. But I have to say this, that Stanley is right up there, right up there, as a master spirit amongst these creators. I think his creativity is quite extraordinary. As I say, I've known him well. I think there's not, there's simply not a day, and I've just made notes here, there's not a day that passes without him his cre doing creative work. One day, maybe painting. Another day, making sculptures. Another day, poetry. Another day, ceramic work. Another day, exploring music on his guitar. Sometimes, many of these at the same time. There isn't a day which passes that he is not adding to the creations that he has made all his life. And then another thing to remember also about Stanley is that he is putting down in those marvelous notebooks of his, his thoughts about the creative process in all these areas.